I think the, the biggest uh, issue right now is in the capital formation side. So it's how do we get companies to IPO earlier? And the reason we want them to IPO earlier is it's one thing to allow entrepreneurs to find financing and grow their businesses, but we also want the retail investor to be able to participate in that growth. We don't want companies that are fully mature where there isn't a lot of upside. So what the, uh, the regulators have to do is figure out how do we reduce the cost of, of uh, an IPO, both in terms of the banking costs, but also the regulatory hurdles, the ongoing regulatory hurdles of being public, so that it's more competitive versus a private financing. How do we compete with international markets like Hong Kong and London and make sure that our standards are attractive versus those markets without lowering the bar to the point that you've hollowed out the, the regulation and you risk some sort of event in the marketplace. That's a real challenge for the market. It's, it's for the regulators rather. It's how do you keep the highest possible standards but still compete with private markets that don't have the ongoing regulatory hurdle and compete with other marketplaces.